right through my sporting career. Whenever things get too much, you'll find me in the country. I feel like I'm most at home and most comfortable surrounded by animals and in nature. That's always been that, that place that I've enjoyed the most. It's kind of like my happy place. I'm Kate Horan, I live in Wellington and I'm a paracyclist. I've been cycling for seven years. I got into athletics when I was like 27, 28 as a track runner. The toll it was taking on my body and all the injuries meant that probably running was no good for me so then I switched to track cycling. I've got three boys, an eight year old, a 22 year old and a 27 year old and I've also got a granddaughter who's three. When you become a mum, it's not nine to five, it's like 24 seven. I do really struggle juggling my time. I spent a lot of my life sort of covering up and hiding the fact that I um, was missing my leg. So when I was competing in sort of an able-bodied sport, um, I was always a little bit uncomfortable and didn't want to be known as the amputee runner. When I got involved with Paralympic sport, I became a proud amputee and a proud Paralympian. I guess I kind of found my people. Kate and I have a really close relationship. We're not, um, you know, work colleagues, we're more than that. We're friends. Kat's been instrumental in keeping me sane, probably. She's the one I would go to for advice. At the recent trials in November, I had all my boys there watching me compete. That was probably one of the highlights in my cycling career, to have my kids all in the one place watching me. Seeing them just made me realise I'd done everything I wanted to do. So I retired today. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Finding it out that it was her last race just kind of makes it all that more special, especially to be there with my two brothers and to watch it was pretty wicked. I'm 44 and I've been to three Paralympic Games and, you know, I just sort of think, what am I waiting for? Am I waiting to get beaten? Am I waiting for an injury? You know, when is the right time? I feel like physically I can still do it, but mentally I don't think I can. I don't think I've got the edge that I need. I guess also you make so many sacrifices in sport, especially when you have a family. And that's been the duration of my career is constantly making sacrifices around being a mum and the guilt that goes with that. And that plays on your mind constantly. And Max is eight. And I feel like I've missed out a lot on his, his life. There's so much I want to do. I want to run. I want to run for fun. I want to climb mountains. I want to get a caravan and I want to go and take Max around the country and see things. And I want to have a few wines at night. I just want to have some normality and just be a mum. Step away from the podium and let someone else to jump up there. Yeah. We've got some athletes that that is everything, that is their life. And although it is a part of my life, it is not just my life. <laughs>